yard here and uh, I'm just sitting down here in the gun room and making some videos and I thought I'd just show you this thing. It's a old muzzleloader rifle and uh, a client gave it to me. He didn't had no need for it anymore and uh, it's it's um, pretty decent shape considering how old it is and what it's been through but it's a uh, the hammer spring was missing on it so uh, my dad got a hold of this for a while you know, like my dad likes to mess with things and he, he uh, took a screw and just screwed that hammer right on there <laughs> it's just that's my dad so it's a, it's a wall hanger now but uh, the barrel has been cut the barrel would, would have been longer typically on this on this rifle and someone cut a several inches off the end of it but it's, it was cut a long time ago and it was not cut very uniform like can you see that the camera lady there can you film the camera the muzzle? trying to get it you get it in the light right there okay, now i gotta find it again yeah so they did a really bad job of cutting that barrel off but um looks like they put in a vise with a hacksaw you think or what it was pretty rough cut but like I said, it's, it was cut probably 150 years ago, and uh, it's a pretty heavy, heavy old rifle. It's built stout, you know, back in the old days when they made these things. And uh, it's got on the back of it, it's got a, initials, a J8 or a J something. It looks like a J. I have no idea that. It looks like an 8 to me, but uh, my dad said, where'd you get that rifle? And I told him, I said, well, I said I was walking through the woods and I saw it laying on the ground and he got all excited. And then I, I told him, I said, no, a client gave it to me. And uh, he still liked it though, but it's a pretty neat little rifle. Just adds to my wall hanging collection of, of non-shooters, antique weapons. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.